Hello everybody, this is Bob Hollis. Just a quick tutorial to show you how to use the new archiving system that Peter and I collaborated on to store the new board branding documents, but it can be used for a lot more than that. Uh, so first, it's only visible to board members and staff admins, etc. So you need to log in before you will be able to see the tab. I've already done that. Then I will go to about CRRA board only and board documents and graphics and for now it's just our branding materials but I thought it might be used for more than that at some point so uh, I currently created a category called style guide and branding 2011 that includes 36 files if I click on that it will open up and show me all of the files and within any of these uh, I didn't put a lot of information in there right now. It would be great to have, but I'm just uh, trying to get them up there for everybody at the moment. Uh, so you can uh, put a thumbnail to make it easier to, dis you know, to uh, distinguish what it is, and you can also type a description in there. And if I'd like to upload a new file, I would just click Submit File. And in this case, I'm uploading from my computer. And I'll browse to that file, and this one happens to be crafooter.eps. So I'll select that and upload. Now, once this uploads, I'll be able to give it a title, type in a description, select a thumbnail, set permissions to determine who can see it and who can edit it, and there we are. Now I should have uh, paid more attention to what file type that is so that I could be more specific in my titling. Uh, for the moment I'm just gonna leave it at CRA footer and I'll come back in and edit that uh, the next time I log in. So that's the title. I can choose a category. Right now this is the only one we have selected. I can type in a description CRA footer 2011 and again I will make that more specific the next time I log in. Uh, here is where I can select permissions as to who can see it. Right now I have everybody but remember you have to be a board member to even get here and then who can maintain it which can be any Joomla group with access or even a specific individual. Anybody in our database can be selected. And then I'll just save and it will now be in here. It's uh, probably all the way at the end. We have quite a few documents here and oh, it's not at the end. Um, let's try page two. Here's CRA footer. Okay, I'm not sure uh, if they are alphabetical or what they do with these. That uh, looks like it. So if I click the CRA footer, I could edit it. You can see that that's the one that I just um, put in there. And it would need to be approved and published. So I could have uh, selected an approved box when I was uploading it because I'm an admin. And now it's approved, but will need to be published as well. Okay, and so must be published before downloading. So I'm going to go ahead and say publish. And now that document is available for download. Uh, that's how you download or upload one document at a time. And when someone were at the downloads uh, page, they can obviously click to download anything that they need. If you want to upload uh, numerous documents at the same time, you can do that from the back end. And this uh, component is called Docman. So for anybody who logs in on the back side, if you go to Components, down to Docman and Home, it will bring you to this page that we're looking at. And if I wanted to upload multiple files, I can click New File. And it's a similar process, upload file from my computer. But in this case, I have a zip file, so I'm going to select the batch mode and then browse to the zip folder that Peter sent me. And I've already started 
uploading archive one so I'm going to select the archive two zip folder and submit and now that's going to take a, a minute or two uh, the internet's not very fast here today but once that uploads it will list each of the files that were in that archived uh, zip folder and individually but at that point you'll need to go to documents and create a document that uh, links to each of those files and that's done just the same way as when we uh, uploaded one file individually and when you go to create the document it will ask you okay we can we can take a look now so here I can display the files that I uploaded or upload more I'll get display a list of files and one of the ways that uh, makes it a little easier to sort through which you need to create links to are any with a zero because these are the number of links that each document has over here on the right and so these are those that I most recently uploaded so I can just highlight this to capture the name and then I can click to create a document which I know may sound confusing but think of a document as a link to a file and the file is the, the uh, what we just uploaded so that's the name of my document the category is going to be style and branding and I can say approved and published and get it done right here in one step I can put that uh, description down here and that's pretty self-evident what that is I could select an image if I had a thumbnail set permissions which I'll just leave at default you can also put licensing if you have copyright or other information you want to include and then any other details these are more for technical people to make sure there there's nothing inserted in there that they don't want um, so that is all you do from the back end and if I hit save now that document will appear in the uh, on the front side in the in the uh, downloads home that's it if you've got any questions let me know hope that's useful oh and here too if you want to you can create new categories so if you wanted to create a category called board meeting items or whatever it might be you can create the category there and add documents to that as well and of course control access level uh, if you've got any questions let me know you know how to reach me thanks bye